Hello everybody and welcome to a tropical update here. It's a lot to talk about here. So this update is probably going to be another long one here. Um, and unfortunately due to circumstances out of my control, I have to uh, do this one also on, on my phone here. Uh, so I apologize for the quality here uh, on this uh, video if it's you know, a little bit low quality or any of that sort here. So I apologize for that on the technical side of things. But going back to the Atlantic here, we got it of course on a, 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 a really active Atlantic here. We got over here we got newly formed tropical storm beta we now got we still got uh, hurricane teddy still going on then we got uh, uh, the extra tropical remnants of uh, paulette that have a chance of reformation here then we have hair we not hurricane we had the subtropical storm alpha uh, make landfall over portugal believe it or not as a uh, 45 believe it was a 45 mile per hour subtropical storm here um first uh, first of, of its kind here uh, in terms of its intensity here. The last one to make landfall in this area of the world was in uh, was a uh, Hurricane Vince which made landfall as a tropical depression in 2005 and uh, this of course made landfall as a subtropical storm here a lot stronger than a uh, tropical depression. Then we got newly formed tropical storm Wilfred that's expected to be fairly short-lived here uh, as you can see that's also currently going on I've formed today and I've but to the east of that, we have a tropical wave coming off of Africa here that has a decent chance of formation. Uh, I'll be at a little bit of a low chance of formation. There's still a decent chance of formation, and I'll talk about that a little bit here. But first off, let's start off talking about Tropical Storm Beta here. You can see it's pretty much the most uh, immediate threat to the United States here in terms of impact-wise. Um, you can see as of this latest update, the center is currently located at 25.5 degrees north, 92.3 degrees west. With maximum sustained moment winds at 60 miles per hour. Moving to the north northeast at 12 miles per hour as of the 10 p.m. Central Standard Time at Rise Number 6. And you can see they forecast Tropical Storm Beta to intensify into Hurricane Beta and uh, either come really close to or perhaps make a landfall over Texas as a Category 1 hurricane here and have a peaking. Uh, as of this advisory, at least as an 80 mile per hour Category 1 hurricane here. That's why they have, of course, hurricane watches in effect for parts of the Texas coastline from just north of Nueces County. Pretty much it looks like just sort of the Louisiana-Texas border around Beaumont. Just looks like maybe just west of Beaumont, Texas there. And a tropical storm watch is in effect from, from Nueces County down all the way to Brownsville. And then tropical storm warning uh, watches in effect from pretty much it looks like just east of Beaumont, Texas to um, uh, south central uh, Louisiana there for tropical storm watches. So a, a really uh, t storm, a really uh, serious storm here that you need to pay attention to. Of course, don't necessarily panic about it. Um, if you follow the necessary precautions and safety measures, you'll get through the storm just fine. Just don't panic about it. You know, um, we still got a few days. Uh, you know, to track this storm here before it either makes landfall or comes really close to making a landfall here. Um, so the track can, of course, still shift more to the east, more to the west here, more more north, more south here, and, and also the intensity could also be, you know, a, a little bit higher than forecast, maybe right as forecast, or maybe a little bit lower than forecast here, because there's, um, there's a really complicated uh, track here, more comp more so than the, you know, Hurricanes Laura and uh, Hurricane Hannah here earlier this season. So it's a lot more complicated uh, in terms of the forecast track here and also intensity wise as well uh, for this storm here. So just be aware of that as well. Um, of course, for those of you guys in Texas, like I am, uh, make sure to, you know, uh, just be aware of this. Closely monitor this storm over the next coming hours and days here. Really, really pay attention to it here. Uh, this is not a storm to blow off here. Just make sure you pay attention to it closely because this is going to be, even if the storm does not become a hurricane-like forecast or astronomers forecast here, um, it's, we're still going to be talking about a serious, serious rain threat here for Texas and parts of Louisiana here um, over the next coming days as the storm slowly moves its way either towards making a landfall in Texas or perhaps just say, staying offshore of Texas here uh, over the next coming days. So just please pay attention to the forecast cone here. Don't necessarily panic about it. Make sure you know you have everything ready to get ready and set to go if you have to either evacuate or shelter in place here. Remember to always follow your local officials with this hair with this storm here. Um, and here's a look at the infrared imagery of Tropical Storm Beta here. The reconnaissance plane went into the storm earlier today and uh, found that, found out that the storm was a little bit stronger than previously forecast. The previous forecast was at uh, well, the previous uh, uh, forecast cone had it at 40 miles per hour. Now it's up to 60 miles per hour because the Air Force reconnaissance air aircraft went into the storm and uh, found out that it was a little bit stronger than forecast there. So hence why uh, we have a, a stronger forecast forecast intensity here in this newest update here. Um, 
And this is what currently, of course, what the storm looks like on infrared imagery. The storm is being sheared to the south here a little bit, so that's why um, it looks, this is where they look the best here. The actual center of circulation is right about here, give or take. Um, so the convection is just to the northeast of where that actual center of circulation is here. Um, and again, uh, don't pay attention to intensity per se here. Regardless, the storm is looking to dump tons of rain um, to either Texas, Louisiana here, or, or uh, somewhere here in, in the Gulf Coast here, regardless. Uh, so just please keep an eye on this. Don't necessarily focus on intensity-wise here. Just focus mainly on the impacts of that are going to be the main impacts, at least at this point in time, that are going to be rainfall uh, for this particular storm here. And again, this is Tropical Storm Beta here. Um, I know last update you were saying, you are probably asking yourself why this is named Beta and not named Wilfred. Well, before this storm was named, we had some more storms develop um, before Beta formed here. So we had uh, uh, Tropical Storm Wilfred form in the open Atlantic, and we had Tropical Storm Alpha form uh, just pretty much just west of Portugal, and now it's, of course, over land in Portugal now. Um, so that's why we have Tropical Storm Beta instead of Tropical Storm Wilfred here. And here's a look at Hurricane Teddy right now. Tropical Storm Watch is in effect. Oh, no, it looks like they actually expired it now. Uh, there was a, a Tropical Storm Watch in effect for Bermuda, but it looks like they canceled it now. It looks like on this newest update, unless it just doesn't show. Oh, no, yeah, they still have it. Yeah, there's a uh, Tropical Storm Watch in effect for the entire island of Bermuda here. Unfortunately, you guys are going to be getting uh, impacted by the storm. Um, not, not too long after you guys got impacted um, by Hurricane Paulette not too long ago here. Um, a few days back so please pay attention to this storm as well for, for those of you guys in Bermuda and later on down the line this storm potentially poses a threat to Atlanta Canada here um, so also pay attention to that as well again don't panic per se just make sure you're up to date with the storm checking on the not on your you know your local agency here um, like uh, for Atlanta Canada I believe it's the Canadian Hurricane Center um, check to there to get the latest information on this storm when it gets uh, near to that area of the world here and again, just be aware that this is happening. Don't necessarily panic and, you know, say it's the end of the world here. Um, just, you know, be aware of this, you know, and then act accordingly if the situation does arise where you either have to evacuate from an area or just take uh, take shelter in your, ho in your home or shelter in place here for the storm here. So just be aware of that. And here's a look at Hurricane Teddy on uh, infrared imagery here. Again, a Category 4, not a Category 4 anymore, a Category 3 hurricane. Just, well, it's still... Oh, no, it's back up to a Category 4, actually. Uh, it was a Category 3 in the last update, but now it's back up to a Category 4. So now still uh, we got a Category 4 Hurricane Teddy here. Um, a serious hurricane means business here, um, regardless of what it looks like on satellite now. Earlier, uh, I was pretty clear now, but now might be trying to go under another eyeball placement cycle here. So it'll be interesting to see if it tries to intensify a little bit more or maintain its intensity here uh, over the next 12 hours or so before the National Hurricane Center expect Teddy to gradually weaken on with time as it approaches uh, the island of the Bermuda and then eventually perhaps Atlantic Canada later down the week here. And here's a little look at Tropical Storm Wilfred that recently just formed as well. You can see as of this latest update, 40 mile an hour winds. Uh, center is currently located at 12.8 degrees north, 36.0 degrees west, and it's forecast to peak as a 45 mile per hour tropical storm and eventually uh, dissipate or turn into a uh, post tropical storm. Um, not too far out in time. Let's go ahead. I want to go ahead and quickly read the discussion here. Uh, you can see they forecasted to dissipate in about 96 hours from now, and they forecast the peak in about in roughly 12 to uh, 24 hours from now here before it eventually starts to gradually weaken. And uh, like they, the National Hurricane Center said, dissipate in about 96 hours from now. Here's a look at Wilfred on infrared satellite imagery right now, and you can see it's not the best looking tropical storm, but ASCAT data uh, that went over the storm earlier this morning showed that this was indeed a tropical storm, so hence why they gave it the name Tropical Storm Wilfred here. And uh, that's why this, this storm got, na got named Wolfred instead of the one uh, in the Gulf of Mexico here is because, you know, ASCAT data showed that there was a pronounced circulation there that had tropical storm force winds. And like I said, hence, they named it Tropical Storm Wolfred here. And of course, you can see Wolfred is not the best looking tropical storm here, but of course, a tropical storm nonetheless. Unfortunately, staying away from any land areas at all, uh, going to be staying out to sea, so it's only going to be an issue for any boaters or any marine interests along the immediate area of the, where this tropical storm is. And then now we still, we got uh, post-tropical cyclone alpha here, uh, went over uh, Portugal here, 
uh, if you couldn't believe it, they went over Portugal here um, earlier today as a subtropical storm here, a moderate and moderately intense tropical subtropical storm here. Um, and it's pretty much the first of its kind here in modern history here. Of course, the last tropical cyclone to make landfall in Portugal was uh, at the time uh, when I made landfall, Tropical Depression Vince in 2005. So it's incredible to see another record-breaking storm for this part of the world here. Um, and it's really unusual how I'm, ready, how I'm talking about, uh, you know, Portugal here at uh, this season here. And you can see this is the infrared imagery for subtropical storm alpha here. And you can see just how the storms progressed over time. Of course, it's pretty much gone now. So that's why they called it a post-tropical storm because the storm is pretty much gone now. And nothing really, nothing's really left of it here. They could see as it was making landfall, it looked like it was pretty much intensifying up until landfall here, perhaps. Um, and it'll be interesting to see what the National Hurricane Center are doing a post-season tropical cyclone report for this storm here because uh, microwave data showed earlier b before the storm was designated as tropical subtropical storm alpha uh, that it may have been a, a, a subtropical storm for a little bit longer than what the National Hurricane Center have it as. So they may uh, increase the time that it's spent as a name system here and the, the post-season report here. So again, this is tropical subtropical storm alpha here that made a rare rare landfall here over Portugal here, really rare landfall. You rarely ever see this, if anything. You maybe see this maybe once every, you know, 100 years or so, give or take. I don't know the exact specifics of, you know, a landfall happening in this part of the world in Portugal, but if I had to guess, probably at least once every, every 100 years or so, with, of course, you know, Vince and uh, now Alpha being an exception uh, for, for over the past three years. So a really remarkable storm uh, and record-breaking storm here in its own right. And then here is a uh, five-day graphical tropical weather outlook here. You can see what's currently going on in this newest update. Um, they have the remnants of Paulette. Well, not the remnants, but post-tropical cyclone Paulette. They have it at a 30% chance, chance within the next 30, 48 hours of reformation. Or um, they, also, they also have it as a 40% uh, chance within the next five days chance of reformation into at least a uh, tropical depression swing storm or higher here with time as it drifts more south here and into more favorable conditions and warmer sea surface temperatures here. So it has a chance of reformation here if you couldn't believe it. Um, and then uh, to the southeast of that we have the surface number two here has a 20% chance of formation throughout the next five days and, and, the, and a near 0% chance of formation throughout the next 48 hours. And that's pretty much going to be about it for this update here. Um, hope this update uh, was uh, informative enough for you guys here, and I apologize for any technical issues that may have happened here. Um, you know, me stuttering here, I apologize for that here. Um, again, I unfortunately had to do a mobile update for this one because, you know, uh, of uh, stuff out of, my, out of my control here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this update. One little last thing I wanted to say before uh, I leave off this update here is um, with the formation of Wilfred Alpha, now Beta, uh, it marks the earliest formation date for those uh, for the W name storm and the, the Greek A and B name storm, uh, which was previously previously broken in 2005 when uh, they first you know started uh, naming that in 2005, um, the previous record for the W name storm was uh, Wilma when it formed on October 17th, 2005, and the previous record for the the Greek A name storm for Alpha was October 22nd, 2005, and then the the record for the the Greek uh, na name Beta was uh, October 27th, 2005, and the tropical hurricane beta uh, formed uh, on October 27th, 2005. So uh, another uh, record-breaking round of storms in their own right here. Um, of course, Alpha for a little bit more more reasons than just the name here, um, as it made landfall over Portugal here. But again, uh, this is just a, again wide view of look at the Atlantic right now. Um, and uh, that's pretty much going to be about it for this tropical update here. Of course, remember, guys, um, to pay attention to your local officials here, like the National Hurricane Center, National Weather Service, and the local officials here throughout the next coming days here, especially um, for you guys on the Gulf Coast here that are going to be impacted by uh, perhaps uh, at this later on down the line, Hurricane Beta here, uh, if you couldn't believe it here. So, again, another record breaking season, season with record breaking storms here. And um, again, pay attention to your local officials here. National Hurricane Center, uh, National Hurricane Center, National Weather Service, local officials, etc. I'll have all the links below on this video here if you want to check out uh, what type of links that I use here for getting official data, official uh, data on these storms, and also data for uh, satellite imagery here. So just look at the links down below, and I'll have all that 
uh, set for you guys if you want to take, take a look at that and get informed yourself uh, on what's currently going on in the world of tropics here. So again, that's pretty much going to be about it for this update here. I apologize for uh, this phone update, this mobile update here, but um, it's the best I can do at this time. So again, hope everybody has a great day in that regard. Stay safe, of course. Until then, see you guys in the next video. Peace.